Good morning, guys. Uh, today I want to bring you guys an email that was sent in by a fan that had some advice about dating women knowing that you have a child. Um, now, the title of this was Men with Kids in the Market. But as I read the email, it was apparent that I think this person needs a little, a little more guidance than, than what he's letting on. The title makes it seem like he is going into the dating market while having a kid, but when you actually read <laughs> the email, it'll become apparent that it's a completely different issue altogether. He goes, hello, Alex, keep my name private. I'm a big fan of both shows and proud to say you are my tuner. So I tune him. Just wanted to hear your opinion on men with kids instead of women of instead of women in the market. This is exactly how he's typing it. So <clears throat> I must apologize if it sounds a little garbled up. Anyways, I'm 21 years old, 5'10", 160, and pretty handsome. When I'm groomed. <laughs> Currently living in Chicago with my parents. I have a decent job as a local truck driver, making about sixty dollars to $70,000 a year. Planning to become an owner-operator. It also helps that my parents don't really make me pay rent, so I have very good money saved up. And thinking about getting a house, but more than likely not. I've been talking to this Latina girl for over a year now after coming from a three-year relationship. And in that relationship, the very last year was very toxic, and she told me that she cheated. She was a college student, so I should have seen it coming from a light year away. With this new Latina girl, she's 21 years old, we found out that she's pregnant about a month ago. Obviously, I don't want it, but she says she's keeping it. Let me go on and it'll become a little more clear as to what's happening. <clears throat> we got into an argument and she kept telling me, I don't need you to do anything for me. You can go on about your life. I then told her, how about I want to better my life and make more money and that having a kid would really stop that progression. She says, I don't want your money. I'm just going to be there for my child. You don't have to. I know for a fact that she meant it. But I'm not a pussy, so I'm not going to abandon my role as a father. My father was great to me, so I need to live up to that and raise the child to become a contributing member of society that lives in reality. Now, there, therein lies in, a lot of things are happening right here. The, he's having a conversation with his girlfriend saying, I don't want a kid. She wants the kid. <clears throat> and that's where the inequality rears its ugly head. Both of you are required to make a child. But if the woman wants the child, nothing the man says is really going to change her mind. So he is now potentially, he was setting himself up to potentially say, well, I don't want it. Maybe give her some kind of logic coming from his end. She said, I don't even need you. I want the child. So regardless of what you do, I'm keeping the child. So she basically gave him a free ride in terms of financial responsibility she said <clears throat> go ahead do your thing i don't even need you and he chose to say nope i'm gonna be in this kid's life so that's the choice he made the latina girl is pretty valid actually funny super good in bed all around supports what i like to do and loves my mustang also has a nice job but would rather be a housewife she would rather be a housewife i, I think that's what he meant there not the best in <laughs> not the best in looks but I thought she has good potential. If she loses a small amount of weight, <laughs> she's about to gain a shitload of weight. She's pregnant. If she lost amount, basically saying she'd be, she'd look really good if she was thinner, but she's pregnant. So there goes that. And unfortunately she can't cook. Her sisters do. And I haven't told my parents yet, but if my mom finds out she doesn't, that will change. Also, her family is very supportive. Even told us that we'd never be hungry, homeless or non-carless. But I know when I tell my parents, they'll be very disappointed because my dad always preaches, no kids, save money. But it is what it is now. At least it's with a good girl and not these other options. I haven't been really committing to her though because I still want to talk to other women every now and then. Also, I haven't had many experiences with others neither. That's what he wrote. Because I've always been in relationships and never really knew what was out there. I've only talked or slept with four other women. And half of them were long-term relationships. 
I already told her that the baby will not keep me bound to her as in a relationship, but I already know that she's going to be somewhat in my life with a child. Also told her that I wouldn't do any messing around while she's pregnant. My question is, if I still have urges and want to talk to other women after she gives birth, and if pregnancy doesn't bring us closer, how would my value change being younger with a kid? I know you don't have any, but how do women see men with a kid? Will it not be taken too seriously like men do with women with kids? Sorry if this is too long. Just wanted to give you some details. Well, gentlemen, that's an interesting question. How are men viewed in the sexual marketplace or the dating marketplace when they have children? Well, you could see it two or three different ways. Women, depending on their status, and if it's a single woman without kids, having a child is probably going to make you less attracted to a woman unless she wants kids. It's kind of a weird thing. What I've noticed is women are willing to date a man with kids because they'll say, well, if he already has a kid, maybe when I want a child, he'll already know what to do. He'll already have experience. Women see that a man taking care of a child is desirable because they see the softer side of a man. Or if they see you as a baby daddy, it could potentially make you look like a not a deadbeat, but less desirable. Because if you act like a baby daddy, and basically if you tell the women this story, it would make you insanely unattractive. It makes it sound that you're going to be in it for the child, but then when you talk about her, you know, her looks, her losing weight to be more attractive, this and this is the mother of your child we're talking about. Okay, you're about to have a kid with this with this woman. I would never tell you to make a relationship work based on a child because sometimes relationships don't work out and a child in my opinion should not bind you to a person in terms of relationship, but it'll bind you to that person in terms of co-parenting forever. So that's something you're going to have to weigh out. But the way men are looked at in the dating pool, or the sexual marketplace value is the same as women. When I see a woman that has a kid, a younger kid too, I'm going to have to deal with baby daddy. I'm going to have to eventually meet the father. I'm going to eventually have to deal with that. I've dated women that have younger kids and the father is not involved at all. And believe it or not, that's more desirable because that's one less dude that you have to feel you're, com you're in competition with. Uh, two males having to deal with one female is never going to be a good thing. The people I dealt with kept their kids at mom's house, parents' house, grandmother's house, whatever, and it worked out. But it was always an issue trying to find a babysitter or stuff like that. Same thing with you. The weekends that it is your turn to have your son or daughter, you're going to have to make sure that the woman you're going out with know that, hey, I have my kids this weekend, so I can't see you this weekend. Or if I see you this weekend, my child is going to be involved and you're either going to have to be okay with that or not. And that's just how it's going to be. Now, in my opinion, you have a lot of growing up to do, and this has nothing to do with your dating marketplace or anything like that, or your, or your dating value. The way you talk about this girl, I get it. You're just trying to give me as many details as possible, but you decided to bang her without a rubber, knowing the risks. Now she's pregnant and you're basically saying, I'm still going to date other chicks. This is not going to keep me bound to you. It's one thing to do it. It's another thing to say it. Um, and it kind of sounds like you're semi putting her down. This is going to be the mother of your child. So you're going to have to give her that respect uh, eventually. Even if you think these thoughts, and obviously I haven't said who you are, it's probably a good idea to kind of bring the respect game up a little bit because she's going to be involved in your life forever. That's what people I don't think realize when it comes to having children. You're going to be involved with this woman for the rest of your life. So it's probably a good idea to bring the respect game up a little bit, especially if she's a good girl, according to what you say. It seems like she's a good girl overall. Why not try to go out with her? Because do you know how difficult it is to find a, a good girl that's about your, she supports your habits, she's about you. Uh, and you said she's not the best looking, but she treats you really good and is good in the sack and can't cook, which can always be fixed. But you still want to go out there and bang other chicks. That is 100% youth talking, 100% inexperienced talking. I had never put myself in that position because I knew I didn't want children. So you have to take all precautions when that happens. But 
how do you look in the marketplace when it comes to your value? Well, same as women with kids. Depending on the woman you find, if she needs you to be available all the time or at least all weekends, that's going to be difficult because you're going to have to take care of your kid. If you meet another woman that already has children, that might be a little easier because you both are dealing with the same thing. But I would love for you guys to give this gentleman some advice. This is a very good community that gives you guys some advice. You re you heard me read a story so you guys can react. Let him know in the comments how he's going to be viewed in the marketplace and how he should treat the mother of his kids. But in my opinion, he got a little bit of growing up to do. But try it out with uh, the with her, the Latina, the, the, the baby mama and uh, see how that goes, but don't force it because of the child. Eventually, you know, you have to be, you have to like the person and not just be tied to them just because you have a child with them. You can co-parent fine as long as you're both adults about it. But if it doesn't work out with her, you do what you got to do knowing that you're probably going to be less desirable to many women in the dating pool or the marketplace than if you didn't have a child. That's just how it is. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Let the guy know what you guys think in the comment and we'll keep everything going. Look out for some more emails and live streams coming up soon. Thanks for listening, guys. Talk to you later.